previously on The West Wing. Hey, Crisis. Are you calling me Crisis? Like as my hip-hop nickname? I'm saying there's a crisis. Is it serious? No, Will, it's frivolous. It's a frivolous crisis. Walk and talk. I'm really stretched. Ever. Ah, stupid coffee maker. Please tell me this isn't the crisis. This isn't the crisis. Is this the voting thing? It's what the voting thing? The crisis. It's the crisis, the voting thing. What voting thing? It's the voting thing. How'd you find out? Josh. This is a disaster. It's a catastrophe. It is a cataclysmic event, unrivaled by the likes of any calamity since the dawn of hey, history. Hey. You can't. Boo boo. Ballpark the odds of you reaching your point any time in the frantic foreseeable future. People aren't voting. For us or the other guy, because there's two ways to see that. No, in nonpartisan elections all across America, voters are leaving part of their ballots blank, and they don't even know it. Okay, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, and try to do it like you're not. Come on, I'll give you a lolly. Okay. People walk into the voting booth, they check the straight party ticket box, and they think that they have voted for everything, but they haven't. They still have to vote on the nonpartisan section of the ballot. That's the part towards the back. Usually, but not necessarily. They still have to look for it. Right? It's not rocket science. It's labeled. But it takes the voter like an extra 10 seconds to find it. So it's a thing. We're not talking dog catching here. State Supreme Court. State Supreme Court. Harold, copies of Josh's brief for the little big man. Already in his hands. Music to my ears. If people fail to realize that a straight ticket vote doesn't count in nonpartisan races, if they just casually vote the party line, then their interest will continue to go unrepresented. Josh is convinced that it's something more than a crisis. He's upgraded it to a calamity, a catastrophe. I'm telling you, it's an apocalypse. It's an apocalypse now? What say you, CJ? Shall we have calmer heads prevail? Mr. President, as you know, the men and women who sit on the state Supreme Courts rule on issues that affect literally millions of Americans. Nothing big, you know, niche issues like civil rights. The environment. Workplace protection. Voter protection. This isn't even about which side of those issues you're on. We should do something because that's... Because we can. And my suggestion box is wide open. All it would take, really, is a gentle reminder for people to look for the nonpartisan section on their ballot and go vote there. I was thinking we could make a video. Right, maybe with beloved TV personalities, one of whom might be considered a movie star handsome Louis C.K. Wow, really? Read the message for us. When the solution is simple, God is answering. That's a quote from some old quack named Einstein. All right, friends, let it be written, let it be done. This is Federer, let us away. What's next? Hello, I'm Cindy Mosier, President of the Iowa State Bar Association. Please help keep politics out of Iowa's courts. When you vote this fall, I urge you to turn the ballot over and vote yes on all judges and justices standing for retention. Iowa has some of the best judges in the nation, and your yes vote will help ensure that Iowa's courts remain among the best in the nation as well. Thank you.